So today we're working on these Aon units. They have uh, an economizer that has a compressor lockout and an enthalpy changeover switch. So this here is the compressor lockout. It's a dry bulb. It's got a refrigerant bulb running through this hole. And then you'll see notes that say economizer changeover switch, compressor lockout right there. The economizer changeover switch is enthalpy. We'll look at that now. So underneath the hood you have the economizer changeover switch. You can see high, low, there we go, high, low, ground, and power. So the 24 volt power is the Y1 call. Um, and then high is when the temperature is high and you get compressor. Low is when the temperature is low and it's good for economizing and you get damper movement. And the ground you will not need, that's just common. So uh, coming through this hole, there are four wires. Typically four wires come through and plug into those terminals. Uh, you've got a yellow for power, black for ground. You have a blue that's for the compressor and you have a white yellow, which is um, to enable the economizer. And there's your refrigerant bulb, that's the dry bulb for the compressor lockout. So one trick that we figured out is to use the compressor lockout dry bulb as the changeover and forget about the enthalpy. So the way we did that, these two black wires are originally plugged into the compressor lockout. These two black wires are the circuit for the common side of the compressor contactor. So the compressor lockout cuts the common circuit of the uh, compressor contactor. So what I noticed was the enthalpy changeover switch is a single pole double throw enthalpy relay and so it's got three terminals that you care about uh, a common sort of a normally open and sort of a normally closed um, really it's a common a high and a low and and then I realized that this guy this cha this compressor lockout also has three terminals uh, they're originally only using two of them but there is a third and it works so uh, this is your high the, on the bottom that's your high and uh, that'll give you compressor if it's above whatever temperature you set which would be 55 degrees and then this is the low which will give you economizer um, below 55 degrees and this is just your call coming in let's look at the diagram and we can see how these things work uh, the Bolimo is a special Bolimo you can see there on terminal 3 it's got a 10k ohm resistor uh, thermistor and it's um, it's the mixed air temperature sensor so this this uh, actuator reads the mixed air temperature and modulates to a, a preset uh, set point, mixed air set point. So it'll open and close the stampers accordingly, all by itself. All you got to do is turn the thing on and it just goes. So now on this uh, diagram, you can see the, the Y1 call comes in, makes it over to your ECS, the economizer changeover switch. Um, and as it comes in yellow on top, you have a high and a low selection there. The high is the blue, the low is the yellow white. You can see that the yellow white goes down to the economizer relay coil to enable the economizer relay. So when it is nice outside and it's you know, 55 degrees or lower, uh, you get the low selection and you have the economizer relay enabled. When it's warmer outside you have the high selection and it uh, goes on that blue wire down to the yellow and it's tied in with the yellow and that goes out to the compressors. It goes out to the limit switches uh, and turns on the compressors. The Y2 call comes in to the economizer relay and when you're in economizer mode, the Y2 call has the ability to call on the compressor. You can see there that normally open contact 
uh, when the relay is called that gets closed and th so that orange is typically connected with the other orange which is out to the Y2 compressors the second stage compressors but in economizer mode, they use Y2 to bring on the Y1 compressor. So just in case you need a little more cooling, you'll get it. Let's see, what else should I say about this? You got the, the mixed air temperature sensor down below and the economizer relay, uh, double pull, double throw. And um, on that second circuit, it enables the mixed air temperature sensor to uh, talk to the economizer motor. So it, it just feeds it through that normally open contact through to the white wire of the motor. You'll also notice on the blower relay, BR, that power for the motor, the damper motor, comes from the fan call, comes from the, the blower motor relay. So if the fan is not running, you will, the motor will not run either. And if the economizer is not enabled through the low setting on this economizer relay, um, you won't have a mixed air temperature sensor reading going to the economizer and the, and the motor does not modulate. Uh, let's see, so we talked about the three contacts on the economizer changeover switch. And then if you look over here at the compressor lockout it also has three contacts only two of them are being used black and black but the third one is there um, that's what kind of clued me in as to maybe it would be feasible okay so step one turn the power off and put these jumpers in because you're gonna have to test so we've got power jumped over to fan and also jumped over to Y1 then you're going to want to take these wires off of the compressor lockout. Yank the two black wires and tie them together. We don't need the compressor lockout anymore. We'll just bypass it. Uh, next, you're going to want to open up the, the hood, get inside that hood, in that economizer hood, and unplug those four wires that come from the economizer changeover switch that's enthalpy. And pull them through this hole. And once you get them, discard the black wire, you won't need it. And then put uh, blue on the bottom, which is your high, and that goes to the compressor. White yellow in the middle, that's your low, and then yellow for common. We like to start our test with a high temperature, higher than the outside temperature. So the outside temperature today is 50 degrees, so we're going to set it way up to 65 or 70. And then... <clears throat> When we flip the disconnect on, we're going to get fan. The fan will ramp up, and as soon as the... Well, actually, we, we get fan right away, and since, we're, since the temperature's high, we should also begin to get damper pretty much, pretty much right away. There you go. Because the fan call gives power to the damper. So, since we're calling for economizer, uh, because the temperature is high on the dial, we got we got damper right away. So that's our damper test. We're gonna let that open. Looks like it's working. Uh, and then in a few minutes here, we'll run this dial back down to a lower temperature than the outside temperature. We'll probably probably get down to 45 or so, and it'll click, and the compressor will come on, and this will begin to close cold outside today so we're also getting a, a heat call from down below but that's uh, kind of neither here nor there just in case you were wondering so that's that's pretty good I know this damper works I know what it's gonna do now let's crank this thing down to a lower temperature so we're at 70 we're gonna go very slowly down until we get compressor and we're gonna pay attention the temperature at which the compressor kicks on. There it is. 44, roughly 44 degrees. So, it's 
not perfect. It's it's really more like 50 outside. Uh, so we're going to take that into consideration. If, if we set this at 55, it might start to economize at 60 rather than 55 or something like that, if I'm thinking about that correctly. So if I know this thing is reading um, roughly four or five degrees low, I may go ahead and set it four or five degrees low. Like I might set it to 50 instead of 55. That way it actually economizes at 55. So that's a pretty good test. Uh, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and jump second stage. Oh, that's actually, that's for the economizer, during the economizer test. So you can crank this back up. We lose compressor. And you want to test that second stage uh, so you can jump between power and Y2. And you should get your compressor back because, remember, that's what your economizer relay is doing uh, right here with this orange normally open to blue and yellow out to the uh, first stage compressor so that's pretty much it now one more thing you can do is if you want a little more control you can purchase another one of these dry bulb changeover switches um, mount it where the refrigerant bulb goes into the economizer section just like this one and uh, you set it up the same way but you leave the compressor lockout as it was. So everything works just like it was before, but instead of having an enthalpy changeover switch, you now have a dry bulb changeover switch. So you can set your dry bulb changeover switch to 60 degrees, and your damper will open at 60 degrees, and you set your compressor lockout to 55 degrees, and your, your compressors can run in that five degrees from 60 to 55 and then at 55 they'll cut out and it you'll get more control that way you'll get more savings and that's it these old aeons they're easy to work with